Bernard Keevy. Now, it's important to understand how much impact some small changes can make to a typical business. So, it all revolves around four key numbers. Your volume, your price, your gross margin, which is determined by your costs of goods sold, your variable costs, and then your net margin, which is decided by your other overheads. So, here's a typical small business. So, a typical net margin of 20% is regarded as good, and a typical gross margin somewhere around about the 30% mark is probably fairly typical, although it varies across industries, so you need to research, you know, you need to look at each particular industry in isolation. So in this in instance here, we've got, we're selling 10,000 items for $100 or pounds each, which would give us our turnover of a million. <clears throat> typical small business, reason, you know, successful small business. If our cost of goods sold are 700,000, that would give us our gross margin of 30%, which is not that untypical. If we, so that would therefore mean we'd have a gross profit of 300,000. Our overheads are 100,000, so our net profit, our net margin is 20%, our net profit is 200,000. Now, if we could make 5% increases in our volume and our price, and 5% reductions in our variable costs, or costs of goods sold, and our overheads, what difference would that make? And I think you'll find this really surprising. So, if we could sell 5% more, just 5% more, that would take our volume up to 10,500. And if we could receive an extra 5% on average on everything we sell, that would take our average price received up to 105. Now, how could we do that? Well, we could sell more volume by um, having reactivating existing customers by having cross sells and upsells in place because typically 34 percent of the time if you have a cross sell or an upsell people will take advantage of it uh, and the other one i've got up here is if we follow the proper format for set setting out any of our promotions it's called the marketing equation or sometimes we call it the conversion equation that would easily get us our extra five percent in terms of price how could we get more in terms of price well Instead of keeping our prices low or even discounting, what if we bundle in extra value and then increase our prices? We'd only have to do that slightly. And what if we have more than one offering? What if we have um, platinum, gold, silver rather than just our basic offering? Again, we'll find a four, fair proportion of people will take up the middle one. So I think it's be reasonably easy for most companies to at least get a 5% increase in their average price. That will take our turnover up to 1102500. Now, how could we get our costs of goods sold down? Well, the six key areas you need to look at in terms of your variable costs. So it's things like how much stock you're keeping, it's things like um, have you got the best deals from suppliers, wastes, returns, etc. The six key areas, we can look at those in detail uh, and on another occasion. But it's quite feasible you could easily reduce your costs, your variable costs by 5%. That would take your gross margin now up to 40% because your prices are slightly higher and your uh, variable costs are slightly lower. That would give you a gross profit on that new turnover figure of 437500 instead of 300000 Our overheads, well our overheads are things like wages, salaries, but it's also other things like um, you know, water and energy and loads of other costs involved in uh, rent and rates and um, computer costs and phone costs etc. So there's a lot of scope for looking at reducing our overheads. So let's just say we can get those down by 5% as well, which is probably feasible in most companies. You've now got a gross, uh, sorry, a net profit of 437,500 minus 95, which is 342,500. Now that is 70, over 70% 70 higher than our starting profit. So just those four small 5% improvements have made over 70% difference, 70% improvement on our bottom line. I think that's really exciting and I think that would work for most businesses, either if you're a business owner yourself or if you're an accountant or a coach or a consultant or an advisor who deals with those sort of companies. If you wanted more information, we're running a webinar, myself and Paul Hopkins, who's a colleague of mine, we're running a webinar Friday morning, 10 a.m. UK time, which is 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time in the US. Uh, if you want more information, go to info at exponentialgrowthforyou.com or I'll leave a comment. When I post this video, I'll put a comment underneath and I'll have the details, the login details, so that you can actually go and have a look at this event. If you think this is good, this is interesting and beneficial to you, if you could like it or share it, that would be great. And if you wanted to comment underneath the post, again, that would be excellent as well. So in summary, four small changes to a typical company or business, only four or five percent changes, 
will make a huge difference generally to their bottom line. It, it depends on the exact figures, but generally you're going to see a hugely significant improvement just by making four uh, small changes. Actually, this is so powerful that when I work with um, customers now, clients now, I'm going to I'm guaranteeing that they that, that we can actually more than pay for the fee by doing this activity. Okay, thanks very much. I hope you found that useful and thank you for watching.